there, this is Jennifer from Hip As I Want To Be, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about running. Um, I've been meaning to do this for a long time because I get a lot of questions from people about running, and uh, I guess I write about it on my blog enough, and people in real life who know me know that I like to run, and I do it every week, and it's just my sanity. It's the thing that keeps me sane. Disclaimer, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a physical therapist, I'm not a personal trainer, so uh, follow my advice at your own peril. But these type of things have, have worked for me. Um, basically, in the beginning, a lot of questions about how to start. Basically, you just start. One of the worst things you can do is uh, pick up a pair of uh, your old Keds or your, you know, your Chuck Taylors, as cute as they are, and just run. Um, I've been plagued by plantar fasciitis, some issues that came from either not stretching enough or having bad shoes. So I would just really encourage you that if you really want to go out and start running, get yourself a nice pair of sneakers. Go to a local running store, someone that will fit you and actually watch you run so they make sure that they pick the right shoe for you. That's my big lecture for today. Um, other than that, what I would just say is don't try to go too fast in the beginning, especially if you haven't been running very much, just do some intervals. Run for about two minutes, walk for two minutes. Run for three minutes, walk for two minutes. And gradually increase till you can get to four or five minutes with like a smaller walk break. Until you get to the point where, hey, you're not needing those walk breaks as much anymore. And really don't, just again, don't go out there and and run like a crazy person that mile because you want to have a seven minute mile. I mean, you're going to kill yourself. So that's just, please don't do that. Um, other than that, I mean, intervals really work. And, you know, if you don't enjoy outside running at first, get a treadmill or, you know, join a local gym if you already don't have a gym membership. And again, do the interval training on the, on the, um, the treadmill. I mean, it'll work for you, especially in these really bad winter months. Nobody wants to go outside and run in this ice and cold and snow, except for my running partners, who never, ever let me sleep in on Saturday mornings. As a matter of fact, she brought me. One of my running partners actually bought me um, some things to put over top of your shoes that will cut through snow and ice so much. Yeah, she just uh, really won't ever let me sleep in. So don't pick running partners like that. Anyway, I digress. One of the um, greatest things I got this Christmas from a girlfriend um, was this book. It's called The Runner's Field Manual, and it is so fun. I have to tell you, if you go out and purchase a book on running, buy this one because it is, it's funny. It's got some really good advice, of course. Of course, it's filled with advice, but they do it in a way that makes you laugh, and it's not intimidating. And it's just, it's a great chuckle. So I would just really, really um, recommend it. It's by Mark Remy. Again, can you see that? The Runner's Field Manual. Great present. Thank you, Lori. Um, one other thing that I want to address just off the bat. Before you start running, you really need to think about personal safety. If you're not running with other folks, then I want you to really be aware of your surroundings. I want, would like to recommend that you vary your routine. Don't go doing the same time, same route every day. You know, there's bad guys out there. They might pick up on it. Don't you love my technical term, bad guys? My kids call them bad guys. Um, anyway, so the bad guys um, are out there. And please be aware. One thing that a girlfriend gave me, I'm so excited, it's called Hot Lips. It's pepper spray. And the cool thing about this is that it comes, it looks like lipstick, well, a very large tube of lipstick, but still lipstick, and it's just a spray. It goes a long way in making you feel safe, and should you ever, God forbid, need it, you know, it's right there in your pocket. It's not too big. I remember when I was younger, I had some issues, some things happened, and I did not have anything like that with me. And so it was a bit of a, I had a bit of a scare when I was um, in my 20s. But, um, but anyway, so I would recommend getting yourself a product like that. And again, you can find, you can find this online or you can, um, go to, again, go to your local running store and they'll have some, some type of personal safety item there. Uh, if you want to hear more, it, please send me your questions. I do, like I said, I get a lot of questions. Um, I'd be happy to answer them. Or if I can't answer them, then I would be happy to find someone who can, someone more qualified. But uh, anyway, 
Please be safe and good luck on your running.